Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to walk you through the complete process of resetting your WordPress admin password. I am going to show you the ways you can get back into the WordPress admin section either by resetting your WordPress admin password or by creating a new username and password to log back in into the WordPress admin panel. Let's imagine a situation where you are on the WordPress login screen and for some reason, uh, let's say you are not able to log into the WordPress admin panel. So either you lost your admin credentials or let's say your website is hacked and your admin credentials doesn't work anymore. So in this video, I'm going to show you two different ways you can get back into the WordPress admin section. So please follow along. Now let's look into the first method which is resetting your WordPress admin password inside the database. So the first method actually involves getting inside the database of the WordPress installation and then resetting the password there. So now let's look into how we can actually do that. Now I am on the WordPress login screen. Now you can see that there is the, the login screen in front of me with the, uh, with the username and the password and I'm trying to enter several passwords and it is always giving me the error that the password you enter is uh, for this username is not correct. So what I can do in this kind of a situation, uh, the easiest thing for me <coughs> to do would be to click on the lost your password link. When you click on this, it will ask you your username or the email address. So you can enter your username or email address and uh, the WordPress is going to send you an email, follow the instructions and uh, you will be able to reset your password. But the problem is if you are on localhost. Since I am on localhost, my localhost is not actually configured to send the email. And if, even after entering the right email address or the username, I will never be able to get back the email. So what I can do to reset my password on the localhost, this is what I am going to see. We are going to follow the first method which involves getting inside the database. Since we are talking about the database, this is really the first step in resetting the WordPress admin password. So the first step involves finding the name of the database that is associated to your WordPress installation. So if you know the name of the database that is actually very good for you. But let's say if you don't know the name or if you are not 100% sure then I am going to show you how you can find out the name of the database. To know the name of the database what we can do is we can actually get inside the WordPress installation directory. I have WAMP server running on my system so I will go inside the WAMP directory. I will go inside www folder and this is the folder where I have my current WordPress install. I will go inside this folder and I will see a list of all the files. And since this is the root folder, I have to look for a file called wp-config.php. This is the file that we need to edit. Once I edit this file, uh, you will see that there is three most important information that is actually saved inside the file. The first is the name of the database, the second is the username for the database and the third one is the password for the database. So these are the three most in important information that are actually saved inside wp-config.php file. Now we know the name of the database. In my case, it is test install. This is the name of my database that I have to edit. Now I'm 100% sure that I cannot make any mistake in the database. I know the name of my database is test install. And now I'm going to move to the step two of this process. Now we know the name of the database. Now in this step, what we have to do is to locate the database and to edit the users table to reset the admin credentials. But before we do that, we have to take a backup of the database. And the reason we are taking a backup because it is actually a very good practice to take a backup before we start editing anything inside the database directly. Just in case if anything goes wrong, we know that we have a backup to rely upon. So we will see how to take a backup and we will then edit the users table to reset the admin credentials. Now I can go to the PHP my admin. I can click on the WAMP icon and click on PHP my admin. Once I do that I will go to the PHP my admin dashboard and on the left hand side you will see a list of all the databases that are installed. Uh, from my previous step I know that the name of my database is called test install so I click on this database 
this is the database that is actually associated to my WordPress installation. Uh, before I make any changes on this database, first I will take a backup. To take a backup of this database, I can click on the export button or the export link on top. I will select the quick method and I will select the format as SQL and I will click on the go button. Once I do that, it will prompt me to save an SQL file. I will save this SQL file on my desktop. Uh, I will save this SQL file and once I do that I am 100% sure that I have a complete backup of my database saved on my desktop and I have nothing to worry about. Now I am 100% sure and I can move on to the next step which is editing the users table. Now we are going to edit the users table inside our database. So once you go inside the database, you will see something called as WP underscore users. So I will click on this table. This is the table where all the information about uh, the WordPress users is stored. Uh, like admin, the WordPress admin, and if you have any other user, all the information about those users will be saved inside the users table. And um, once I click on this table, you will see there is an entry inside this table which says admin and it has all the information over here like the username, the password, uh, the email address, everything. Uh, there is only one user that is admin and that is me and I don't know my password and that is the reason I am here. I am going to edit this entry. Click on edit and you will see all the information being displayed on a different screen and then as you can see here this is the this is the user login which is admin and this is the user password and which is this but you might be wondering this is not the user password this is not your password um, but this is actually your password which has been converted into a into a md5 hash and md5 hash is basically an algorithm that actually takes your takes your text password and converts it into a 32 uh, character hexadecimal value and the reason it it does that to make the password more secure because you are saving the text based password directly inside the database and this is something that is not really recommended so that is the reason wordpress automatically converts all your text based passwords into a 32 bit hexadecimal hash value so this is the field which we are interested in so you will see the user password user underscore pass you come here delete the previous entry and now here you can type in your new password uh, so the new password for admin you have to type in this field and uh, let's say I'm going to choose a password called um, password uh, this is uh, password all in lowercase without any space but the password that I am choosing is only for this demo I would suggest that if you are choosing a password make sure to choose a password that is very strong the password should not be very easy for anyone to guess or something you have to make sure that the password uh, your password actually includes the uppercase letters lowercase letters uh, the numbers the special characters it should be an alphanumeric password and it should be difficult for anyone to just guess now after typing in your new password here on the left hand side you will see there is a drop down go and select the md5 and this is the md5 algorithm that actually converts your text based password into a into a hash value like we saw earlier after doing that you can now click on the go button now you see it says one row affected that means the password has now been changed so it's super simple go inside the users table edit the password field enter the password select the md5 hash and click on the go button now the password is changed now we can actually go to the wordpress login screen i am i have my username admin and i have the password called password all lowercase without any space and i click on login and when i do that i see i am able to log in that means this trick actually works now you can go ahead inside the database you can update your um, the users table you can change the password and you can you you will be able to log in inside the dashboard now uh, since I am inside the dashboard I would like to tell you one thing you can now click on the users on the left side you will see this is the user that I have 
it is called as the admin and this is me this is basically me I am the admin user so I click on admin and you scroll down and here also you will find there is a uh, you can generate a new password over here so you can just click on the generate password button WordPress automatically will generate an alphanumeric password which is a very strong password very difficult for anyone to guess or something uh, so you can actually uh, like you if you want you can choose another password by coming inside this but this is the possibility if you are somehow able to get inside the WordPress dashboard if you are not able to get inside the WordPress dashboard that is when you actually go inside the database and do the steps like how we did uh, so this is the very first method how we can actually go inside the WordPress database and we can update the users table to reset our admin password this is what we saw in this one now in the next part of the video I'm going to show you another way you can actually get the access to the WordPress dashboard without uh, without changing any of the WordPress tables. Now we are going to see another method of getting inside the WordPress dashboard in case you don't remember your admin credentials. So if you forgot your password we are going to see another method of of getting inside the WordPress dashboard now. But this method does not involve resetting the admin password like how we did in the previous method. In this method what we are going to do is we are going to create a completely new admin user and this admin user is going to be created by editing the functions.php file which is actually located in your WordPress installation directory and we are going to see how we can do that now. So the first thing that we have to do is to go inside the WordPress installation directory. I have WAMP server running on my system so I will go inside the WAMP directory inside www and I have my WordPress installation in this folder called test install. I'll go inside this folder, go inside WP content, inside the themes and I know that I'm using a theme called 2012. So I will go inside this theme and here I'm looking for a file called functions.php. This is the most important file inside every theme folder and it should be easier to locate. So go inside the functions.php file and open it in any text editor. We have to actually scroll down to the end of the file and here in the end of the file I am going to enter a code snippet. But before we enter the snippet let's look at the snippet how it looks like. So this is how the code snippet looks like. It is actually a function so you can see this is a function that we are going to add in the end of the functions.php file. So I'm going to explain to you what it is. So it is asking you for a username, a password and the email address. These are the three information that is actually asked to you when you are going to create a WordPress user. So for any WordPress user you have to provide these three information. So in the user field you have to enter your username, in the password uh, you have to enter your password and the email you have to enter your email address to create a new user. And what, th what this is going to do is it is going to check if the username and the email does not exist inside the database. It is going to then going to create a WordPress user with the information that is provided above. That is the username, the password and the email address. It is going to take all the three information and it is going to create a new WordPress user and after creating the new WordPress user we are also setting the role of the user as administrator so this uh, WordPress user the new WordPress user that we are going to create will be an admin user and this is the function that we are going to add inside the functions.php file in the end of the file so let's see how we can do that okay now what we are going to do is we are going to copy this function and we are going to come to functions.php file we are going to scroll down to the end of functions.php file and paste this script here so this is the same function that we saw earlier what we are going to do is we are going to update this script by entering a new username password and the email address so I'm going to choose a username called test user a new password called test pass a new email called test 
user at domain.com this is the uh, these are the three most important information that you need all the time whenever you are going to create a new user for WordPress so WordPress all the time needs the, these three information from you so once you have the new username password and the email uh, you can now save this file let's go and try to log in so we'll come to the WordPress login screen I'll enter my new username which is test user and the new password which is test pass and I click on login and you see now we are in the WordPress dashboard that means this method works for us and if you really want to verify the information you can actually click on the users link on the sidebar now you see there are two users one is admin and one is a test user that we created just now and if you want to check the access level you can see that both of both the users are admin users so they both have the admin credentials so just in case if you forgot your admin password and you don't remember the admin password and for some reason the first method doesn't work for you or let's say you are not very comfortable touching the database directly or let's say for some reason the first method didn't work for you you can actually use the functions.php file to create a new admin user for yourself and now since you have the new admin user created you don't need the script anymore so there is one more step to this process is we will come back to functions.php file and we are going to remove this script from here we are going to get rid of it and uh, deleting the script from functions.php file is not actually going to delete the user that you created the user is still going to be there the only thing that we are doing is we are actually removing the script for for security reasons so I will save this file and you come back here you can now you now you have two different users one is the admin user one is the test user let's say you forgot the password for the admin user now you can actually go inside the admin and you can generate a new password for yourself this is one of the ways to retrieve the password so in this video I have actually shown you two different ways to get inside the WordPress dashboard if you don't remember your admin credentials the first method involves getting inside the database to update the password and the second method involves creating a completely new admin user by editing the functions.php file and both of these methods are going to work either in the local host or on the live WordPress website so I hope you like this video I hope this video helps you and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel so that I can make more videos like this thank you